All right, hey guys, Stephen Bogren here, and today what I wanted to talk about is fiber and possible GI or stomach issues. So hey guys, I hope everybody's having a great Tuesday. We're going to be heading to USAPL Raw Nationals here this week, so I'm looking forward to seeing some of my clients that are going to lift, some of my friends that are going to lift, and some of my other friends who are just going out there to handle their lifters and coach. So it should be a great weekend. There's going to be a lot of awesome lifters. There's going to be a lot of awesome lifts, and it's just going to be um, sort of a really good environment overall. And being as which that with USAPL, people kind of have to stay in a weight class, and weight was kind of one of the things that uh, inspired me to talk about this issue today. Now, there are a couple reasons that weight can go up. Really, there's a lot of reasons that weight can go up. But today I want to talk about one simple reason. And that reason can be fiber, right? So here we go. Here's a great example. And so these are like high fiber tortillas, right? Now. That's great if we need that extra fiber if we are not getting it within our normal diet. However, if our fiber intake is too high, we can see GI issues. These GI issues can be things like just simple gas, bloating, um, but one of the other things that we can also see is that we actually end up holding much more water within our gastrointestinal or GI tract. Because of the fact that fiber absorbs water when it sits in, it normally helps things move through. The correct amount of fiber will do that. But if we have too much fiber, we can see issues like constipation. Now when this happens, what we are going to see is weight is going to trend up as we fail to get things to go out. Ha ha. Because we are now holding more fiber within our GI tract, our digestive system, that large intestine, our colon, that fiber is going to pool water into that. That means that we are also going to be bloated. We may have more gas while the bacteria in our digestive system tries to deal with that as well. So what we can see if our fiber intake is too high is a drastic and abrupt increase in weight. Now, we just talked about what that is associated with, right? It's all about that water getting pulled in and held within our gastrointestinal tract. That is why it is very important that you are tracking and paying attention to your fiber. This is a very easy way to help you to possibly alleviate any kind of GI distress or issues that you might be having. If you're going into a show or trying to make weight for meat, this becomes even more important, right? Because if you are now holding water when you're trying to make weight or you are now bloated when you're trying to look good on stage, those are bad things. So I absolutely, recommend that you pay attention to your fiber intake as well, right? So don't just look at things like carbs, proteins, fats, but also pay attention to things like fiber and sodium because they will matter in the long run for things like bloating and weight. So if we see that there is a drastic increase in weight, and if we see that there is a drastic increase in fiber or sodium or something of the sort, that is going to cause us to hold more water, we now have an explanation for why that weight increase has happened, right? A lot of the times we feel better if we understand why something is going on and what's happening within our bodies. You know, the frustration tends to come with the things that we don't understand or we feel like we don't have any control over. So today's big take home message, pay attention to your fiber. If you see that weight is having a drastic increase, Take a look at that number and see if that isn't too high. If you see that you're having a lot of gastrointestinal issues, look at your fiber and see how high your fiber intake is. It may behoove you to lower that fiber intake and see if those GI issues, that bloating, that cramping, that distress, 
uh, that weight gain then go down, right? They then decrease. So that's really what it's all about. I don't wanna give you a specific fiber goal because everybody handles fiber differently, but a general rule of thumb is that as your carbohydrates increase, your fiber should increase. So guys, remember fiber is important. It is very important for your gastrointestinal health, for moving things through, for making sure that you have a healthy number two, but it also does some other great things um, as well for cardiovascular and overall health. And remember that it is associated with those nutrient-dense foods that are just good for you in general anyways. So don't cut fiber too low. Remember, we do want some, but if you are experiencing issues, it is something that you might wanna take a look at to see if we can't make some changes to alleviate any issues that you might be having. Guys, really, that's all I have for this wonderful Tuesday. If you're heading to USAPL Raw Nationals, we'll see you there.